I've been talking to uh, my people inside uh, Libya, in Benghazi, and also in Tripoli. And uh, most of them, they want to see justice. We need justice uh, for, for, uh, for this trial. If there is a trial for Gaddafi, we need justice. And because Gaddafi, he have to answer for all the crimes he commit through justice. And so, as you speak to us now, from Brussels, are you feeling optimistic that Colonel Gaddafi's regime will fall? Or are you afraid that Gaddafi's troops are getting stronger? What do you think will happen next, now? Gaddafi is, is becoming weaker and weaker every day. And if they continue bombing his troop, he will fall. And if indeed Colonel Gaddafi does fall, um, and there's a new Libya without Gaddafi, would you like to return to live in your homeland? First of all, I want to make sure each Libyan who live in exile, they can go back through the airport safely. And of course, we want to make sure Gaddafi is not there, either his family or his regime. Second, the Libyan people, they have to uh, decide what sort of system they want. For me, as I say before, Libya is in my heart and I will do any things to make sure everybody lives safe and they have their own uh, democracy and system, which is choose. Well, sir, thank you. We thank you so much for joining us and putting your point of view across so, so clearly. We, we thank you very much, Your Royal Highness. Thank, thank you. you. In a minute, two dramatic stories. We'll be looking at the terrifying drugs war in Mexico